are co-founders of Stagecraft School of Musical Theatre and Performance Arts, which we began about five years ago. Our theatre project this year is to do with an A to Z of a production. Uh, so this is a Stagecraft uh, production. Uh, it's a workshop production where all the participants uh, came up with their own play, they wrote the scripts, they're going to help direct it, act it, and put it on the boards at the Punchi Theatre uh, after they get it all right. And we are kind of used as mentors to these uh, kids uh, to actually show them how the whole process works. We are working with an um, original script, so therefore the songs that we will be given are also uh, original songs, meaning they are specifically written for this play. Hi, we are the script writers for the Stagecraft team. I'm Anuki. I'm Rohara. I'm Shania. I'm Netmi. I'm Adelia. And I'm Asma. We will have that privilege or um, that exposure of uh, working with something that is brand new. Um, so therefore we will have to come up with our own melodies. Um, so this is going to be a huge um, experience in my opinion. We had roughly uh, less than a month to come up with this script and it was challenging for us to come up with characters, scenes, a storyline that was both child friendly and executable on stage within such a short time. But we managed to do so right on time. I will be attending to the sound and stage management aspects on this novel Stagecraft School of Musical Arts and Theatre project. Uh, it's definitely a novel project because uh, it's uh, at the end of the day, although there are many experts uh, giving in various inputs towards uh, the aspects of production, the execution of the actual production will be entirely by the participants themselves. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll buy it. No, that's okay. I can buy it by myself. Thank Find you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, sure. We want to be friends. Okay, I'll buy you another ice cream. It's okay. No, it's okay. I don't want ice cream. Okay, let's go. Yeah, but make sure you don't break anything. This vase was very expensive. The last time you invited someone over, you broke my good vase. I got this newly. You better not break anything. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Hi. 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 Can I please use the washroom? Sure, it's just over there. My background has been ad in advertising. Um, but theatre has been a part of my life uh, since school and the reason I'm here and talking to you right now is because in college at St. Peter's uh, I was involved in um, making props for Shakespeare productions um, and that involved maybe making circlets and different things um, that kind of have I've come a long way since then and now um, sort of doing my own uh, business in decor. Um, to tell you what I'm in charge of um, for this production, um, it's stage, set and also props. You're practicing. Are you okay with the night? You all know what to do? No. Yeah. But it's true. Okay, so where is this happening? At a friend's house or in school or in the park or in the garden or where? At your home. Okay. So I think you're ready. This is it. You're practicing it. Ah, okay. okay, so you practice. I'll just watch. I'll be mentoring art and design in this theatre production. Uh, there will be a series of workshops designed to uh, give students uh, and encourage students to come up with art and design material for the workshops and also the ultimate theatre production. Uh, here I'll be concentrating on how children interpret the scripts and sort of come out with their ideas and these ideas can be doodles, sketches, 
different colors, uh, shapes, uh, whether it's animals, people, uh, whatever that comes into their mind and sort of decode it in a way that is relatable to the production. always thought that the different elements of theatre such as makeup, front of house, costumes, lighting, sound, so backstage. many of backstage, art and design, all these areas are usually not really given much prominence and it's only when you're singing or you're acting or you're dancing that um, you think that you are in theatre. But it takes all these different elements to make a production. And that is why we thought that we'd like to educate and expose children and young adults to the different techniques and the different processes that are needed in order to put out a production, to start a production. And we've collaborated with nine different yes. people yes. Uh, who are professionals in their areas, in their careers. Some of them are photographers professionally or videographers. Some of them have different careers, but they still are a part of theatre because of the different elements that they handle. And all these people will mentor a group of children or young individuals who will, it will culminate in the production of an original script, which our senior students of Stagecraft have written in February in 2020. Now we concentrate mainly on plays by Stage Light and Magic and uh, we also uh, try to do things uh, a little bit for the Mind Adventures Theatre Group. Uh, what we are hoping to achieve with these kids uh, in this program uh, is to actually explain to them what lighting actually brings into a production. Um, there are two main things that are happening here. One is a series of workshops run by all these theatre professionals over the course of uh, five months. And anybody enrolling in those workshops are ultimately going to be the people who are producing and running a live production. They are usually not given this kind of opportunity uh, from schools or wherever. Um, so this is going to be probably um, the first time where they will be encouraged to write melodies, um, you know, to write their own um, rhythm for songs. So it's going to be a lovely experience. And once the melodies are sorted, we will be assigning instruments. And uh, there's going to be a wide range of instruments that we are hoping to use. The special thing about this project is that all the mentors who will be teaching uh, us about lighting, um, props and makeup, even though they'll be teaching our participants about all these things, finally our participants will be the ones who will be executing all this on stage um, on their own and we're excited to see how all this comes together and comes to life. Buzz. Fizz. 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 Fizz.
Faster, faster. Now it's supposed to be fast. Fizz. 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 So the structure is that uh, while some of them do choose to act, there are many of them others going to go through the various workshops to learn various aspects of uh, stage management, uh, lighting, makeup, uh, backdrops, etc. So just to give you a light on what I would be doing in terms of sound, sound is a, a very interesting area but uh, always thought to be very technical. But however with modern technology these things have changed and uh, the kids sometimes today with uh, computers and uh, uh, handheld devices etc are able to make more use of this uh, convergence of technology and make themselves uh, somewhat an expert in what they are doing. And this won't just apply only to what they do in stage production but helps in all the other skills or other areas that they hope to do with sound such as uh, editing, um, um, preparing materials for videos uh, etc. Side to side. What I'm mostly concentrating on during the workshops that we'll be having is uh, more than sitting together with children and creating a prop, it's more encouraging their, their creative process and creative thinking. Because I think today we are in a world where we are we're more with a screen, we are not outdoors as much as we used to be uh, when we were younger. Um, so we're with, with the phone most of the time. So I think it's, it's important to take a step back um, go out to the garden and and go out to nature, go out to the street, see what you find. Like for example, can you make a crown out of a bicycle chain? Or can we take leaves that have fallen from a tree and do something with that? So it's more encouraging that creative thinking and creative process that I'm looking at. This way, the children are able to communicate what the production is about to the audience. Uh, here again, what I plan to really uh, get the children to understand is when we conceptualize something, when we brainstorm with ideas, it's about how when we have a whole load of ideas, how do we filter it? How do we try to bring it to life? So for this, sometimes we use software, whether it's uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, or at the beginning we use our pencils, or we use colors, we can use paper, we can use different types of material to bring it to life. See, the, the unique thing about this is the whole um, concept, the, the play is all original, it's written by the students and uh, it's a unique uh, avenue because from a lot of workshops that do happen, um, they're doing something different here where the kids are going to be hand-on experience in every uh, aspect, aspect production. from filming to uh, the different different workshops, the props and so many things. And likewise, when you take front of house and social media, it's a, a, another key area because it's a welcome point for the guests when they come in and it all, what happens is it teaches the kids uh, to deal with that whole, because some kids are shy so what happens is from the smallest thing uh, like going and selling a souvenir, uh, it slowly starts bringing them out of the shyness and um, gives them uh, amount of confidence 
um, and also if you talk of the media aspect of it, it's actually very important for them in this day and age to know how media can actually be used to uh, promote this production. Okay, we won't go anywhere. Okay, bye. bye. Don't we go somewhere with our parents, Anna? Yeah, that's so fun. I love it. Come, let's go. We are going to uh, look at the aspect of videography and photography for stagecraft. Yeah, stagecraft. Um, pretty much, so we're going to take the kids through uh, a journey through teaching them photography and, and videography, videography yeah. uh, so that they also have um, a learning, uh, a lifetime learning on, uh, on photography and videography, uh, just to teach them the basics about photography, cameras, um, lighting and uh, what sort of lenses to use and Dimi will take them through on all the videography aspects. Yeah, so the videography aspect of it, we are going to do some uh, work on how to uh, do a trailer for social media and we're going to sh uh, teach them how to uh, film the actual event so that be, it will be there for them for, uh, for posterity's sake. Speak up loud. We're home. I saw horses coming. part of stagecraft, performance, school or musical theatre and performance. I just love acting because it just creates something that is amazing, like many plays. I've been part of many plays and ensemble and I love to sing and I just love it. And in this kind of workshop you get to do many things like lighting, how to light the plays and I've chosen to do videography and photography because when I photograph things. It takes me into another land that I love. And like when you take photos and you get to see nature go through it. And for videography, I chose it because I've always wanted to make my YouTube channel, but I never knew how to. So this workshop is showing me how to do those things and I really appreciate it. Triumphs. Yeah. What are triumphs? Uh, just run. Run? Run. Okay. Wait, let's jump. Let's let's go in the jungle. Uh, okay, but how will we go when the tribes are there? What if we climb on a tree and jump okay. and climb back and go in the jungle and call civilization? Hello? Hello? We're stuck in the jungle. Can you pick us up? Okay, thanks. Yeah, go and walk. There's the helicopter. Let's get on. Okay. Super. I love the helicopter and you had a phone with you. I Who love the fact Mama is stuck in the jungle. Yeah, come and get yeah. me, Mom. I, I, I call civilization. You call civilization because you were stuck. Where were you stuck? What, what was this place? An island. It was on an island. And we were running because there were tribes. There were tribes. And what are tribes? We don't know who tribes are. Right. Don't know. Hello guys, my name's Ian and I'm going to talk about why I joined the play. Now, I love to sing, act and dance, so I heard about this play, so I asked my mom, can I join this play? And she told, okay, and she told, what is it about singing, acting and dancing? And those two were my favorite, and so she put me in this play and here I am. Give it to me! No! Why do you always take it? I got it! No! Where are we? Look at these little things! I'm scared. 
This floor is really sticky. I do oh. not know. Oh, it's all because of you. No, it's all your fault. You, you were fighting with me. But you saw the stone first. Don't touch anything. Okay. I told you not to touch anything. But don't eat cotton candy. I told you not to eat anything from this place. But I like it. chosen to be in the cast uh, and in art and design and I chose cast because it's I love to act and I love to sing and I chose art and design because I love to draw and design things and from all these workshops we learn a lot of things and I didn't know what to choose at first um, so I hope all of you are watching enjoy did you taste did you steal my brownie yes you can take mine then why you steal mine? Just... You can take mine. It totally makes no sense. Why you take mine, if you have yours? I don't know. Just take mine. Thank you. So hi everyone, uh, I'm also part of this stage craft and uh, I really like being a part of uh, this uh, stage, uh, stage craft and um, uh, I like being here because uh, I like to act and talk and also there are other workshops such as lighting, um, costumes, uh, props, um, uh, makeup and many other um, and if you uh, also like to come please come and it will it's a real uh, it's a great experience you can learn a lot thank you Very good. We well, went on quite an adventure. Yeah. So many different things. There was a lava land as well. Yes. And a lava monster. Yes. And how did you get away? You flew away. Yes. We were in a special bubble. In a special bubble. Yeah. Oh. And then you got some gems and gold. Yes. I saw with the gems you made a tiara. Yeah. What did you do with the gold? Uh, we got it from the different, different lands. We were like um. the fairy queen made it. The fairy different. queen made it. Yeah. And then? And then uh, they, they gave it to us through the portal. Through the portal. And then... So now you are very rich? Yes. The main premise or the platform that we are promoting this project is on education and creativity uh, because we want the children to feel that all of them have a place in theatre and it may not just only be on the stage. So that's such an important uh, aspect to think about and all these nine elements have a creative background even if you're just um, ushering somebody in uh, in front of house or so setting a souvenir or balancing monies, uh, talking to people, you develop your uh, people skills, um, confi confidence. So all these areas are such important uh, areas in theatre whether it's backstage or front of house or designing lights or designing sound. Um, so we would, everybody has a place in theatre I would think. Yeah, Bigger circle. Bigger circle. Come on, spread out this way. Children. Yeah, we'll do that way. Oh, man.